Nobody understands the Great Firewall better than the Chinese people who, despite the CCP's denial of human rights and despite the CCP's aggressive rhetoric about the U.S. and our allies, still find ways to talk about censored topics. For example, when the CCP blocked the Me Too hashtag, activists in China began using the Chinese characters Me Too, which you can see here, which mean rice rabbit. Now they even use rice and rabbit emojis to get around the censors. Mr. Kretchen, Chinese netizens often use these kinds of techniques to discuss sensitive topics, correct? That's correct. Let me show you another image. This is the image of the tank man from the Tiananmen Square massacre. Uh, this is also censored in, in China, correct, Dr. Cooper? Yes. But some Chinese citizens do know about Tank Man, including from U.S. broadcasters like Voice of America. Hence, they developed memes like this one to discuss what happened at Tiananmen Square. Mr. Kretchen, the CCP eventually detected these ducks and actually blocked searches for big yellow duck. Isn't that right? That's correct. Chinese language content produced by VOA, which is critical for countering the CCP's narrative of aggression, gets almost 2 million views every day. Unfortunately, funding for VOA has flatlined, and this year its China program received just about $15 million, which is roughly the annual cost to operate, let alone buy, two F-35 fighters. Mr. Kretchen, increasing funding for VOA and programs like Radio Free Asia would help Chinese citizens get better access to non-CCP messaging and lower support for aggression towards neighbors and friends, right? I think so. 